Is that it? Today's Memorial Day. And honestly, 25th, May 25th. It's Memorial Day and I completely forgot that it was Memorial Day until I woke up and I was like, oh, like I was talking to my mom and you know, people who have full-time jobs and they were like, we don't have to go to work today because it's Memorial Day, duh. So I had a whole productive monday situation planned which i'm still gonna go with i'm about to work out Oops. um i'm about to work out but then i ordered some groceries so once those come i'm gonna kind of have like a productive monday for half the day and then the other half of the day i'm gonna have like a relaxed memorial day situation so i think what i'm gonna do is work out get my groceries i'm gonna get myself together for the day and film a video and then i'll get dressed but i'll already be like ready i just have to change my clothes um and then i think nate and i are gonna go somewhere and socially distance but um yeah i would just never be able to get over the fact that atlanta got sick of lockdown and just decided that it was over and that the virus was over because people are back in full force this weekend pool parties brunches cookouts like everybody is around everybody and i'm just not i'm just not ready for that so um yeah we've still been socially distancing the only people that i see is nate and amelia because we live together but um yeah, those are the only people I see. I haven't seen any of my family who lives in Atlanta. Um, a lot of my friends pretty much went back home for a little bit and then people are gonna come back to pack up their apartments and stuff and move before they go to their new jobs and start adult life. But yeah, um, even if I wanted to go out, which I don't, and be active, there isn't really anybody to be active with because all of my friends are not here. But nonetheless, the rest of the world and the rest of Georgia are out in full effect. Um, so yeah, definitely gonna maybe go for a drive or something and try to keep our distance from people, maybe park somewhere and like just chill out and try to keep our distance. But I haven't eaten in any restaurants or anything like that. I did get takeout, but um, that was from restaurants that aren't even, even though you can do dining at some restaurants, some restaurants have still decided not to open their dining back up. So I've been getting food from places that are not doing dining. They're still just doing carry out. Um, and then eating it at home, warming it up, all that good stuff. So I am personally still taking this very seriously because I feel like it is very serious. And I actually lost two family members to the virus so which were both highly unanticipated deaths like it wasn't like you know they were already sick and only had a couple weeks to live or a couple months to live that was absolutely not the case it could have been completely avoidable had it not been for the virus so i personally have experienced it i guess secondhand because i didn't firsthand have it but i have experienced the effects of it um, and the consequences of it, I guess, firsthand, because like I said, I've lost family members. So it is real. It is very real in my life. And I think that other people should definitely see it as being extremely real um, because 
it is and it's not over just because we decide that it's over and we want to go back outside so anyway that is my little rant for this morning i am about to go work out i'm doing the chloe ting summer shred challenge i believe that's what it's called it's a four week workout plan so i've been doing that for almost a week now and i'm really enjoying it she gets me really sore which is great i think maybe next week i might start to incorporate some weights into it because i'm starting to like really get the workouts down um and on some of them she says you can start to add a little bit of resistance so yeah that's the plan we're going to work out get some groceries and then get our lives together and i'm going to clean my bathroom after i work out there's no better time to clean up or clean your bathroom then right before you're gonna shower because you can just get everything super clean who cares if you get a little dirty because you're about to take a shower anyway so i'm gonna clean my bathroom and just kind of do some odds and ends that i need to do get myself together do my makeup film a video and then hopefully by that time let's see what time it is it's almost 11 right now so my goal is to be done doing everything i need to do filming all that stuff by like maybe 2 2 30 and then nate and i can go out by like 3 3 30 and enjoy some of the day so uh, that is the plan and i will talk to you guys in a little bit From this grocery shop I got two packs of grass-fed ground beef I'm not a huge ground beef person but I do want to have some chili and um, usually I make turkey chili but I got some ground turkey the other day and I didn't really like it it was kind of odd so I decided to just get some organic grass-fed ground beef I got three pieces of salmon I got some 100 calorie multi-grain um, English muffins. I got some shrimp, three bags of frozen veggies. I got some pecans for my oatmeal, some blue cheese because I'm gonna make a cob salad sometime this week. Two big things of asparagus, some great tomatoes, some pineapples, Two peaches, some clementines, two boxes of Baby Bella mushrooms. I literally just throw this into anything, veggie stir fry, anything. I got one thing of Chobani Greek yogurt because I do not like yogurt, but I'm trying to start eating yogurt. So I'm just going to try it out. Some feta cheese. I literally put this on everything. Two packs of chicken breasts, which this is actually not what I put in for my order but that's what they brought me some italian style meatballs again not what i ordered i ordered italian sausage but they brought me these meatballs um and they actually look kind of nasty i'm really not a meatball person but maybe nate will eat them some jiff peanut butter this is the natural creamy kind low sodium some ziploc bags because i ran out some crackers these are my favorite crackers to have with cheese two massive bags of sweet peppers again I literally put these in everything I think I'm gonna make like a sweet pepper and tomato sauce to go on top of my sandwich and ugh, two bags of wing dings that I'm gonna put in my air fryer at some point because they're just a really quick easy meal when I want something kind of unhealthy but put again in my air fryer makes them a little bit better and then strawberries and i'm gonna try the tiktok strawberry 
pack thing even though it's absolutely gonna freak me out so yeah i'm gonna put all of these away and make myself something to eat it's almost one o'clock now so i'm gonna break my fast and then i'm gonna have to clean my toilet and then my bathroom will be done and then i'm gonna vacuum and i'll be done with my cleaning so it's a little late but i'm about to finally eat and break my fast i'm having a whole green english muffin with egg and bacon because i just was not feeling oatmeal this morning because i'm gonna eat oatmeal for the rest of the so it's a little bit later and i'm all dressed now i just finished filming and now um nate and i are gonna go for a little ride maybe get some ice cream or something i don't know we're gonna go do something because like i said it's memorial day and it's nice out so i decided to kind of get myself a little dressed up and look cute and we've just been kind of trying to find normalcy in this whole situation and it's just been a while since i've just dressed up for us to go somewhere so still comfortable but like just kind of like a little look you know so i have on this top which is from top shop but i got it from nordstrom and then these little cut off shorts which are from zara and then i have this little band in my hair i honestly can't remember where i got this from i think i got it from forever 21 like years ago my earrings are bobble bar. I'm just giving y'all kind of like a little pinup girl vibe. And then I'm gonna put on these little flat sandals from Zara. So nothing major, but just a little like, you know, summertime vibe. And the shirt is see-through, it's super cute. I just have on a little bralette with it. And yeah, this is the look, just super comfy whatever we do we're gonna be in the car so i didn't want to i didn't feel like wearing jeans because it's hot so i just put these on and whenever i wear short shorts i always like to have something to kind of cover my booty so yeah this is the these sunnies i think which are vintage chanel they are so freaking cute and i just think the gold detail on them looks cute with my funny with my uh, earring so yeah hopefully I can snap a few cute pics driving around it started to rain literally as soon as we got like 20 minutes away from home we came to like a neighboring city type of situation that just has like pretty views and they have a lake and stuff so um, the plan was just to come and like maybe sit somewhere and just chill out in the car for a little bit but it started raining but now it's kind of like chilled out a little bit so we will see we're both hungry which it's 6 30 so it's dinner time but nate was working like pretty much all day and then i was filming so the day got a little pushback but it's okay because it's just nice to get outside and luckily the weather is nice pretty much every day here now so it's not like we like missed a really nice day out and we're not gonna get another one for a while. So yeah, but I did wanna shoot this outfit and just get like a couple pictures. And Nate's feeling himself today too. He look cute. <laughs> He's cheesing. But yeah, so we were here a couple days ago and we saw these houses that we really liked but we didn't get to look at all of them. So now we're trying to find the street that we were on so I can look at the houses again. So that is the situation i think when i go home i'm gonna make a wedge salad because i got some iceberg lettuce and you know you can't hold on to iceberg lettuce too long so i think i'm gonna go ahead and eat it the first day throw some bacon on there maybe some shrimp or some blue cheese mm, it's gonna be so good and what did you say you're gonna cook chicken it's gonna go home and cook some chicken so we're both gonna have great dinners today so that is the current situation 